Hey Fit Kid family, this is Coach John with the Fit Kid app. Today we're going to teach the proper technique of how to grip and release a baseball. This is very important from the young levels of t-ball all the way up to the professional level. Reason being, we want this baseball to travel in a straight direction. We don't want it to go off to the side, we don't want it to be overthrown or underthrown. So today we're going to properly teach you how to grip a baseball as well as release it. Today I got Fit Kid Peyton with me. We're going to teach you guys how to properly grip and release the baseball. So that way your baseball is traveling in a straight line with velocity behind it. So Peyton, you have your baseball. So you notice you got the whole hand gripped around it right now. If you do that, the ball doesn't really rotate. But if you adjust your grip, you get a four seam grip, okay? Lace is running across, two fingers over the top, thumb underneath to guide it. You'll notice that the ball rotates more, which is gonna cause a higher spin rate spin rate is going to increase the velocity that the ball travels okay so again we want a four seam grip thumb underneath to guide the ball we don't want it off to the side otherwise that ball goes off to the side as well okay keep the thumb underneath focus on tossing that ball straight up in the air good job so if you notice you're gripping the baseball with your whole hand if you do that there's not much rotation on the ball in order to increase velocity, we want this ball to rotate end over end as many times as it can. Easiest way to do that is with the four seam grip. Okay, thumb underneath to help you guide the ball. Two fingers over the top, but you got to notice that the laces need to run across the ball and not straight up and down. Okay, take the baseball that way. Toss. And you'll notice that ball spun a lot faster. That's going to increase the velocity on your throw and it's going to allow the ball to get there a lot quicker. All right, Fit Kid family, let's take a look at this from a different angle. We have the improper grip. Again, this is going to cause the ball to travel heavy. It's not going to travel accurately. You can find this common in young ages from four all the way to nine. It's very important, though, that we teach our kids how to throw the baseball properly with the four seam grip. Payton's going to demonstrate that for us. Good job. All right, guys, now you've learned how to properly grip and release the baseball with accuracy as well as velocity. Again, it's very important that we hold the baseball with the four seam grip, thumb underneath to help with guiding. Make sure it's not off to the side, otherwise you'll find that ball diving downwards. Again, this should be practiced on a regular basis, probably about 25 to 50 tosses a day. Focusing on the ball going straight up and down and not traveling off to the side or out in front of you. That'll also demonstrate improper release. Make sure that you're focused on that ball traveling. Mm -hmm. 